Nice to meet you, my online students. My name is Svetlana Anatolievna Mikheyeva. Today we are discussing the theme How to Survive Natural Disasters. We use English students' book, a textbook for the 10th form of secondary schools, standard level. The author is Oksana Karpuk. To my mind, it will be convenient for you to use your notebook, a pen and a good mood. Don't forget to stop the presentation if you want to make notes or if you are unsure of something. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain the rules of survival. To ask and answer the questions about natural disasters and to participate in common conversational exchanges about the topic of today's lesson. As we are going to talk how to survive natural disasters, I want to focus your attention on the given questions and ask you to write the answers in your notebook. Have you ever heard or read about any natural disaster? Have you ever experienced a natural disaster? When? What happened? Can you name some natural disasters? What do you think of people who throw away cigarette butts and cause fires during the summer? What can we do to prevent this? What natural disasters occur in Ukraine? When and where was the last one? Stop the presentation to write the answers. Have you ever heard about the rule of threes? You can survive for three minutes without air, oxygen, or in icy water. You can survive for three hours without shelter in a harsh environment, unless in icy water. You can survive for three days without water, if sheltered from a harsh environment. You can survive for three weeks without food if you have water and shelter. Let's read Volcano Safety Tips together. Have a disaster plan and know whether or not you are at risk for danger. Be prepared for mudslides, flash floods, earthquakes, ash falling as rain and tsunamis. Prepare a disaster supplies kit for your home and car. Include a first aid kit, canned food and a can opener, bottled water, battery operated radio, flashlight, protective clothing, dust mask, goggles and sturdy shoes. Don't forget to know all of your evacuation routes. It is very important. If you need, stop the presentation to read the information once more. You have a task on the following slide. Please analyze Melinda's actions and think, was her behavior right? Read the stories of TV show guests. Think, do you act the same way? Please stop the presentation. Describe your feelings in 10 sentences in your notebook. If the task from the previous slide is very complicated for you, please use these questions. Knowing how to act is vital. It can save your life. You have to remember following. Identify safe places indoors and outdoors. Learn how to switch off gas valves. Have emergency supplies on hand. Develop a communication plan. Examine your flat or house. Fasten shelf securely to walls. Place heavy objects on lower shelves. Hang heavy items away from places where people sit. Store any flammable things securely on bottom shelves in proper containers. If a natural disaster occurs, you have to follow the rules. First, 
to access the impact, second, to mobilize resources, third, to evacuate victims, fourth, to coordinate the control, fifth, to set surveillance, sixth, to set up the communication. And now, let's take a break. These exercises are very easy and help you to relax. I want to offer you some rules if a natural disaster occurs. Spare on food and water just in case anything bad happens. Stay in a safe place. Stay away from glass windows. Try to speak with at least one person. Keep younger people close at hand. Once you are in a safe place, don't go anywhere else. Don't panic. It won't help you. You can stop the presentation and read these rules once more. Maybe you can add something else. Anyway, you should be ready for disasters in your area. Anyway, you need to have a survival kit. Flashlight, a bottle of water, canned food, batteries, matches, pocket knife, medicines, cell phones are optional, extra clothing, umbrella. And don't forget about the OK rule. Orient yourself. Know what to do. And there are some more tips. Think of the things that went wrong. Try to work on fixing that in case of another disaster. Always help to clean up your area. Warn others and give them advice about how to be even more safe the next time a natural disaster happens. Natural disasters are always unpredictable. No matter where you live, you can have a disaster anytime, anywhere. Have your survival kit in a safe place and be ready because you never know when a natural disaster can come across your way. Now you are aware of the survival rules and can make a plan if something occurs. And of course you can participate in common conversational exchanges about the topic. Your homework is to prepare your utterance about natural events. Imagine you were present at the TV show dedicated to the experience during natural hazards. Use the information from the presentation. Good luck! If you have some difficulties with your home task, please read the questions. Maybe they can help you and the task won't be so complicated. Thank you for your attention, take care, stay well and stay safe.